loves, welcome back. Today we're going to do this look. It's a look that I have been loving to wear on Sundays and some of you have requested a look for it. So I'm doing this today and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonlit Highlight Palette. So to begin, I'm going to take Blonde Type by MAC and I'm going to put that right underneath my eyebrows as a highlight. Next, I'm going to take this Paint Pop by MAC. Um, it's, I forgot the name, Stormy Pink. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just a gray, it's a pink undertoned gray, if that makes any sense. But it goes with the uh, eyelid shadow that we're going to use. I can't talk today. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take Brown Script by MAC, and I'm going to put that in the crease and blend up to the um, brow highlight color that we used. Next, I'm going to take Embark with a not-so-fluffy um, shading brush, and I'm just going to put that in the outer V and halfway into the crease. You just want to, I want to darken it out, but I don't want it too smoky. Um, I don't want a black. Of course, if you want it more intense, you can totally use a black eyeshadow for this part. And you just want to blend and make sure both eyes match. Now I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Kiko Milano. Um, this is number 228. It's a nice silver, gray, pewter kind of color. And then off camera, I'm just going to blend those crease shadows a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner and just line my lower lash line. I'm not putting it in my waterline because it actually irritates me, but it works fine under my lower lash line. And then to um, blend that out, I'm going to use, I believe it's Sketch or Embark. I don't remember which one this is, or I think I mixed both of them. <laughs> just to kind of blend out and smoke out that bottom lash line. And for this look today, we're not putting any liner on the, um, the top lash line. Now I'm going to take Gleam, also from MAC, and I'm going to use that just to brighten up the inner corner of the eyes. Now I'm going to take these House of Lashes. Um, I think the style is Bambi, and the glue that I'm using is from Juvea. I couldn't find my House of Lashes glue. Tweezers can be your best friend when it comes to putting on lashes, guys. So off camera, as you can see, I started my concealer, which I've gone back to doing it the way I usually love to do it, which is putting my concealer on under my foundation. And this is the Inglot Creamy Concealer. I do not remember the number. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. And then I'm going to mix my Touche Clot Foundation and my Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel Illuminator. I'm going to mix the two of those and then put that all over my face on top of the concealer and everything. And I love this brush from Real Techniques. This is something I've been using for a while now to apply my foundation. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm going to use the brown first. Normally I use the Lorac, I think it's called the Tantalizer or something, but I cannot find it. I have no idea where it is. It's probably one of my pocketbooks, but I'm going to use this one now. And I'm just going to contour my face a little bit, not too much because I am going to go over it with bronzer. And no, I'm not putting on a blush, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to use the yellow powder, and I'm going to use that just to set under my eyes. Because I do have lines and wrinkles under my eyes, so it will crease. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Not so much for the highlighting effect, but more so just to set that concealer under there. 
and then I'm just brushing off. I'm not even baking. I don't bake. If I bake, I'm making cookies or something, but yeah. So I'm going to take this Inglot bronzer number 72 and I'm going to use that to warm up the face. I am not a blush person, guys, but I love me some bronzer. Yes, give me a bronzer and I'm a happy girl. So again, this is the bronzer from Inglot number 72. Take just a little bit just to put a little attention to the nose nothing much ah, the moonshine palette I'm going to take purple horse and blue ice to highlight my cheeks my nose and my chin and my cupid's bow and I believe um I forgot the name of the other one I'm sorry the lighting, the sun was going in and out, so my room was going light, dark, light, dark. And I'm going to take blue ice just to do my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to set my face with Fix Plus, and this also helps to keep the dewiness, the glow, set the makeup, and not looking cakey from the few powders that we use. I'm lining my lips with Chestnut Lip Liner. That's like the one lip liner that I will use on a regular basis, which is not every day, if ever. But this lip liner, guys, goes with every freaking lip color imaginable, okay? I have used it with every, every lip color. And this is Tom Ford Stravels, Stavros, Stavros, I can never pronounce it. It's just a nice gray color. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I enjoyed recreating this look for you guys. Thank you for requesting it and I hope you have a beautiful day. Love you. Bye.